Hello everyone, and welcome to Grumpy Dragon Gaming. I am your irritable but moderately vulgar host, Grumpy Dragon, coming at you live from the Xbox One Center Grumpy Dedicated Server. Now, like the last time, we are growing up the Rex. First thing today, we're going to get this Anklio hatched up. So I'm going to ahead and lay him down there, and I will bring you guys back as soon as he hatches. And we're back. He's about to hatch up. We got our first baby the Anklio. There we go. All right, little guy. Go ahead and cancel that. Let's go ahead and disable wandering. And let's bring him out here so we can see him. Come on, little guy. Come on out of there. Everybody wants to see you. Look at him. He's so tiny, tiny little Anglio. So cute. All right, let's get some berries on him. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, tell him to stop following. Uh, what the hell? Damn it! Whistle. There we go. All right. Stop following us. Okay. You got enough size for your saddle yet? No, you don't. Much further. Doesn't look like it's looks like it'll take a little bit with the weight of the saddle for him to be able to carry his saddle. There we go. All right. Like I said, today I'm going to explain a little bit better about how the hatching process works. Uh, last time I kind of skipped through it, seems that we mainly worked on the breeding pen. Like I said here, see I got them all separated. That's where I did the argies. That's where I did the anglias. Another little section here. Oh, already got an egg. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, on the on the ground pounders, I like to just tear the back walls down and get them moved. So once I get these guys moved, I'll bring you guys back. And we're back. I'm getting this guy moved over here. Now, for the hatching of the eggs, every egg has a certain temperature in which it has to hatch at. Now, the best way to avoid trying to just deal with this, and especially with the different varying temperatures of the map and the different varying temperatures during the time of the day, it's easier to just go ahead and have the air conditioners which I, I have six sometimes some people use nine it depends on which eggs you're hatching um, in order to be able to get them to the right temperature because the air conditioners will provide an AOE buff for every air conditioner so if you give it uh, if six of them will give it six times the AOE buff which means it'll stay neutral not hot not too cold and it'll keep it incubating and it works for pretty much every egg uh, in the game now every egg has a different hatch timer, it takes different lengths for it to hatch. Like I said, I have my timers turned up on the hatching in the maturation process uh, because they are a little ridiculous on standard servers. Um, so mine hatch quicker and they grow up quicker. Now um, after you hatch your egg, the maturation process, I mean there's a charts out there, I usually use the ARC wiki uh, from Gamepedia in order to, to use my, uh, to get my timers from. Uh, but like I said, I do have it uh, turned up, so they, do, they don't take as long. As you can see, the Rex is looking like he's already getting fairly grown. And this guy, he just hatched a little bit ago, and he's already fully, pretty much grown. This guy is at halfway. And I pretty much used part of the last episode of the video. Like, I just left the server off until I started shooting this video. Um, I need to go up, and I need to get some more meat, because I'm going to hatch up the Argy next and I'm gonna need more raw meat for the Argy. There we go. Now there's other means of creating heat or, or, or dealing with the cold. I mean you can honestly just lay the egg down in a scenario area and if it says it's too cold then you can just put standing torches out uh, and use them because they create also an AOE buff and so do campfires. Uh, which is why you stand around them in order to lose the cold whenever you're, you know, out in the original part of the, or the starting part of the game. You can use uh, standing torches for the same effect. It'll definitely heat the area, give it an AOE buff uh, to the hypothermal uh, insulation, making it easier for you. See that guy's getting going. Making it easier for you to be able to do stuff. I think next we're going to go ahead and do the RE. Now what I like to do is I like to click on it and then do drop item. You can also use a left trigger to drop the item, but I find that sometimes you accidentally eat the eggs. I'm going to go ahead and I think I need to make some saddles for the Argy and the Pterodons. Yeah, 
I don't have enough fiber. I'm gonna go ahead and get some fiber gathered up, get some saddles crafted up for these guys, um, wait for this egg to hatch up. Once I get this Argy hatched back up, I will bring you guys back and show you the baby Argy. And we're back. Baby Argy's about hatched up now. Any second now. Come on now. There we go. Imprint. Come on down this way, bud. Everybody wants to see you. These babies, they walk so slow because they got such tiny legs, so it's really, it really takes them a while to get down out of that tall grass that's next to my air conditioners. Come on, little guy. Everybody wants to see you. There we go. Oh, he's such a tiny little dude. Go ahead and give you some food. There we go. Uh, can you hold? I haven't made your saddle yet. Go ahead and craft your saddle up. Let's go ahead and disable the wand. Let's get him down a little bit further than what disable is wandering. I can't really see him there. Come on, bud. Down a little further out here in the open. There we are. Alright, look at the little guy. Let's go ahead and disable wandering. I'll whistle him to stop. Alright, let's go ahead and get the pterodon egg started. Seems that we have two of them to hatch up. Drop item, there we go. Yeah, yep, there we go. We're good on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this egg hatched up and I'll bring you guys right back. And we're back. Pterodon's about to hatch up. Any second now. There he is. Alright. Let's go ahead and get him down out here. I went ahead and moved the Ankleo. He he grew the rest of the way up. I moved him over uh, with his family. Well, she. I moved her over with the family. Got another female for more eggs. So I'm not going to breed any more Ankleos. There we go. Look at that little guy. Man, it's just so tiny. Let me go ahead and give you some meat. Disable wandering. This will all stop. Good, good. Let's get the next egg down and starting to hatch up. There we go. Last egg for the day. Yep, everything looks good on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this guy hatch up. And then once this guy hatches up, I'll bring you guys back for that. And that egg should be... it's gone. Oh crap, it hatched. Uh, yep. This is something that happens if you're not paying attention to your eggs. Uh, and of course, babies die very easily. Let's see if I can find them. Where you at, baby? Gonna be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. Yes. There we go. Oh, uh, man. You wandered away from me. Let's get some meat on you. Let's go ahead and disable wandering. And you'll do fine there, so we'll see you just stop. Now over here, I have... Let me go ahead and get some more fiber real quick. I don't think there was any other babies. Now sometimes when the babies are born, when you hatch an egg, you have a... 10% uh, chance of there being twins and a 5% chance of getting triplets. So if you miss a hatching, sometimes you gotta be careful and look around to see whether or not uh, another baby was born and it's just wandering in the area like we found that guy because he, he was wandering all the way over here uh, before we even saw him. Go ahead and get his saddle on him. More meat. This guy. There we go, last bit of meat. Okay. Over here is my Ankleo family. Like I said, there's the extra female. I just stuck her over here. Now, I do need to go up and get some more meat here in a second. I'm going to do a little bit of organization, and I'll bring you guys back. And we're back. I'm just getting some... So to do some main, little maintenance around the base. I need to feed, put all the food in the feeding troughs. Once the dinos reach 
adolescent maturity, uh, they start eating from the troughs. Because um, they go through two stages, they go, or three stages, they go baby, juvenile, uh, I mean, once they hit juvenile stage, they'll start eating from the juvenile, they go baby, juvenile, and adolescence. At juvenile stage, they'll eat from the trough, they will actually make it to where, if, any, if they're within trough range, they will immediately start eating it. Uh, so even if they have food in their inventory, they will eat the food off the trough over the food in their inventory. So you got to be careful with that, because uh, it will drain all the food from your trough. So then you got to go back through and refill your troughs after you're done hatching up your babies, because the babies, even if they have food still in their inventory, will eat off of the trough. Let me get this Rex lined up here. I got another male Rex. We're about to breed these guys again in a couple days to see if I can get some more females. Oh, I already got an ankle leg from a new female. Good job, girl. Alright, so down here is where I got my feeding trough for all my main dinos. Need to get some more meat on there. Not the Ankleo egg. There we go. Alright, so it's got meat. Berries. I do need to get some more meat. Let's go ahead. I think my Argies have a bunch of meat on them still. Let's see if the Pterodon's laid any eggs. Yep. Got one pterodon egg. And of course, we use these eggs for kibble. Oh, and an argy egg. Oh, I didn't mean to jump on you. Let's bring you back around. There we go. Use the eggs for kibbles. And of course, I'm breeding these dinosaurs to try to get more females. That way, I can have more eggs being laid. Uh, so I can actually start getting all the, the kibble I need for the tames. That way, it makes my tames even quicker. Because I can't stand, even with my turned over to my taming speeds turned up it still takes a while because I don't have them ridiculously turned up I still like the game to be a little bit of a challenge any scorpion eggs no dillo eggs oh we got one all right that looks like about it let's check on these guys how you doing you can use another meat let's get this out you're already done okay good let's go get you parked this is the first pterodon. So now I got the four up here. I'm not gonna do any more pterodons. I did the pterodons just to have a couple extra ones. Um, I'm definitely not gonna breed any more pterodons. I got. I'm getting way too many already. Let's go ahead and fill the trough over here because I know that those guys were hitting this trough too. Yeah, they took all my meat out of it. Let's go ahead and put a couple berries in there and then the rest meat. There we go. Let's check, check these guys. These guys, the store's eggs are used for taming diplos. They're kind of hard. To, like, I don't hardly ever pay attention to these guys because their eggs are so camouflaged. Alright, I think everybody's good. Let me go ahead and get these eggs put away. Here. I knew I was forgetting something. There we go. Okay, now I gotta get rid of these eggs. Oh, and I'm out of cooked meat. Is there any on my grill? No, okay. It's gonna be in this second fridge here. Let's go down and grab the smallest stack. There we go. Eat. There we go. Alright, let's put these eggs in here. And of course, organization is key, so I need to make sure I move them to the top. That one up to here. Now all the eggs are together. All right. You done, Argy? You are done, sweet. All right. Get to third Argy moved up. I might breed the Argies one more time. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm definitely ready for more higher up tames. Uh, the Arc uh, has a lot of birds in it. Um, the, I'm really interested in trying to get a. Uh, Quetzal here pretty soon, but I need more Rexes for that. Um, I think that's about where we got the time for today. We went ahead and got the rest of the eggs bred up. We got all the babies grown up too. I'm going to get this guy parked. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. Please like and share this video however you see fit. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for further videos. We're definitely going to get into some more interesting tames here in the future. As always, if you're going to game, game grumpy. I'll see you next time, guys.